The Pardon Cross, as revealed to Marie Julie Hiani. Words from our Lord to Marie Julie on July the 20th, 1882. I wish that my male and female servants and even small children can clothe themselves with the cross. This cross will be small and will bear in its middle the appearance of a small white flame. This flame will indicate that they are sons and daughters of the light. Compare this to St. Paul's first letter to the Thessalonians on the end times. For all you are the children of light and children of the day. You are not of the night nor of darkness. Therefore, let us not sleep as others do, but let us watch and be sober. For they that sleep sleep in the night, and they that are drunk are drunk in the night. But let us who are of the day be sober, having on the breastplate of faith and charity and for a helmet the hope of salvation. For God has not appointed us unto wrath, but unto the purchasing of salvation by our Lord Jesus Christ, who died for us, that whether we watch or sleep, we may live together with him. St. Paul says, if we are children of light, followers of Christ, the day of destruction will not overtake us like a thief in the night, as it will to those living in sin and darkness. We also see this again in the text below to Marie Julie Hiani. Our Lord wants his children protected and not surprised, not taken unawares of what is coming. This new sacramental is a pledge that we wish to prepare and live as children of light and will give us graces of protection. Words of our Lord to Marie Julie Hiani on July the 20th, 1882. My little beloved friends, you will wear and bear on yourselves my adorable cross that will preserve you from all sorts of evil, big or small, and later I will bless them. My little beloved friends, it is to give you an idea of what I endure at the thought of so many souls deprived of endless happiness, of all the souls that will be lost. My little beloved friends, these past days have left so much evil, but those that come will be even more terrible because evil will take a terrible intensity, extend soon with greater measurements. Firstly, they will carry the name of Cross of Pardon. Secondly, they will carry the name of Cross of Salvation. Thirdly, they will carry the name of Cross of Holy Protection. Fourthly, they will carry the name of Cross that calms plagues. Fifthly, they will carry the prayer, O God, crucified Savior, set me ablaze with love, faith, and courage for the salvation of my brothers. My little children, all souls that suffer, and those seized out by the blight, all those who will kiss will have my forgiveness. All those who will touch it will have my forgiveness. The expiation will be long, but one day there will be heaven. Heaven will be opened. I have warned you beforehand, my little beloved friends, so that you are not surprised, so that you have all the time to inform your loved ones and families, that the coming chastisements do not take us by surprise. God also wants us to warn our families of what is coming. Please note, this promise of forgiveness by simply kissing this cross is first reserved for the times of the persecution of the church when priests will be on the run, churches will be closed, and we won't have the sacrament of reconciliation. It will also be for the time when the burning plague spreads so fast people will not have time to see a priest and desire to make a perfect confession act of contrition, and so on. While we have confession, we must still go to confession. However, we are promised protection if we wear it now, and of course, there is nothing stopping us from kissing it now in the meantime and asking for the grace of a perfect confession before we go to confess our sins. God promised His forgiveness, so of course, we can have faith 
He will help us make a very good confession. Ecstasy of January the 17th of 1922 Our Lord reveals this prayer to be recited often and especially at the time of the big deluge of evil and fears. I salute you, I adore you, I embrace you. O adorable cross of my Savior, protect us, guard us, save us. Jesus loved you so much, following his example, I love you. By your holy image, calm our fears, that I feel only peace and trust. Our Lord adds, that by this request, you will feel so many graces, so much strength and love that this big flood will pass you as something unobserved. It is a grace of my tenderness. Amen. <laughs>